Okay, let's do an example on base rule and the law of total probability. After production, a computer component is given a quality score of A, B, or C. On average, 70% of the components were given a quality score of A, 18% were given a quality score of B, and 12% were given a quality score of C. 2% of the components given a quality score of A eventually failed, and the failure rate was 10% for components given a quality score of B, and 18% for components given a quality score of C. If a component failed, what is the probability that it had received a quality score of B? Now we have three different quality scores that could be given to a component. Score of A, a score of B, or a score of C. The probability that a component may be given a quality score of A is 70%. Probability of B is 18% or 0.18 and the probability of C is 12% 0.12 now 70% plus 18% plus 12% that adds up to 1 so A, B and C form a partition of your sample space A, B and C now given a component is given a quality score of A, the probability of failing, so the probability of failing given a score of A is what? Failing given a score of A is 0.02, 2%. So that leads to the event F and score A. Or maybe you could have not failing and being given a square, score A. Given that a component is given a quality score of A, it could fail, leading to F and B. Or it could not fail, F complement and B. Given a quality score of C, you may have a failure. Or you may have not failing component, F complement intersection C. Okay, now, the question is to find if a component failed, given that it failed. So when you have a question like, if this happened, it tells you that this is a conditional probability. If a component failed, given the event of failure happened, what is the probability that the component had received a quality score of B? What is B given F? All right, we are given F given A. Also, we have Failure given B, what is failure given B? 10%, 0.10, and we also have failure given C, probability of failure given C is 18%, 0.18. So this is asking you B given F, and you use base rule to find this. But base rule tells you. If you have a partition of the sample space, like here, A, B, and C, and maybe you have an event of failing, event F, and you have the conditional probabilities of F given the first partition, F given the second partition, F given the third partition, then the probability of a partition given failure is equal to the probability of B times the probability of failure given B divided by the probability of A times the probability of failure given A plus the probability of B times the probability of failure given B plus the probability of C times the probability of failure given C. Okay. Now here the numerator is actually the probability of B intersection F and the denominator is the probability of F. And when you expand using the multiplication law of probability, the numerator becomes that. Using the law of total probability, the denominator P of F becomes that. Okay, now, the probability of B is 0.18 times F given B is 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.70 
times 0 0.02 plus 0 0.18 times 0 0.10 plus 0.12 times 0.18 and that gives you a value equal to 3358. Okay, that answers the question. All right, let me leave you with one exercise. I want you to find the probability that a component is given a quality score of C or B given that it did not fail. Given F complement, what is the probability of C union B? I want you to do that. And the answer you should get is 0 0.2751.